Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Thompson, and I wonder if you can guess where we are today for our story. Mrs. Holstie is busy videotaping us, so think about where you think we are. We haven't been here for a long time. Today's story is called The Boy at the Temple, and it's in our Spark Bible, and it's a story about when Jesus was about 12 years old and how he went on a little trip with his mom and dad. Every year, Jesus' family traveled from their home in Nazareth to Jerusalem to celebrate the festival of Passover. Jesus loved going to the festival. He loved the crowds of people. He loved the noise and the bustle of activity. And he loved spending time in the temple. Now the temple is like a church. One year when Jesus was 12, the festival began like any other. Joseph and Mary and Jesus enjoyed the sights and sounds and all the activities of the festival together. When the festival was over, Mary and Joseph joined others from Nazareth for a long walk home. But when the group stopped to camp at the end of the first day, Mary and Joseph could not find Jesus anywhere. Have you ever been separated from your mom or dad? Think about how you felt then or how your mom and dad felt when they couldn't find you. Let's see what happened. Everyone thought that Jesus had been walking with someone else in the group. Jesus, yelled his parents. Jesus, where are you? Mary and Joseph were frantic. They quickly walked all the way back to Jerusalem looking for him. They searched the city high and low for three whole days until they found Jesus in the temple. Mary and Joseph were surprised at what they saw. Jesus was in the temple talking with teachers more than twice his age. He was just a boy, but he could talk about God with a room full of grown-ups. The teachers in the temple were impressed with what Jesus knew. Mary and Joseph were very proud, but they were still a bit angry with Jesus. Jesus, why weren't you with us? We have been looking all over for you, Mary and Joseph exclaimed. But Jesus replied, Why were you looking for me? Didn't you understand that I was in my father's house? Mary and Joseph didn't understand. But with that, they gathered their belongings and began the long walk back home. Now, why do you think what Jesus meant? What do you think he meant when he said, I was in my father's house? Think about that and talk that over with your mom and dad. Well, we're going to be delivering some things to your house today. It's Tuesday. And I'm going to show you what some of the things are. Oops. This is a special note that talks about the, the story that we just read, The Boy at the Temple. And it's got kind of directions where you can find it in all your Bibles. And what activities. We've got some activities in your book, in your bag. So the first activity is to draw a beautiful church. What would a church look like to you? So you have all this page, you can draw it, you can decorate it with all kinds of things. If you could make a church, what would it look like? That's one thing. The other is, there's two sides to this one. The first side is to cut a coloring page. So you can color Jesus when he was a boy, he was 12, and he was with a group of grown-ups who were his teachers. So that's one side. And then on the other side, it's a find it to help you find things. There's all kinds of things over here, like a bird cage and a cup and a milk and a, and bread. And they want you to find it in the picture. You could circle it and then color your picture. And then there's a page. This is your family page for your mom and dad to read over, and you can do some activities together. And a really fun activity you're gonna like is pop-up prayer. There's bags of popcorn, and, I, and Mrs. Holstein and I put some M&Ms in there. <laughs> so you say a prayer like, um, I, if I would start the prayer, I would say, thanks God for Jesus. And then I would start another prayer. Thanks for, and Mrs. Holstein, what would you be thankful for? Mrs. Thompson. Oh, and then she would say, thanks God for, there's directions of how to do your pop-up prayer. And when you're all done, there's enough popcorn in there for you to have a little popcorn treat. Okay?
So we are so looking forward to getting back together for Sunday school, but it's going to be a while. Um, but remember to be kind to others and be safe and think about who you can help this week at school or at home. And before we end, I'm going to say, let's say a little prayer. Can you fold your hands? Lord God, you give us all kinds of people to help us learn more about you. For parents and caregivers, for Sunday school teachers, for pastors and church leaders, for all the people at church, and for everyone who helps us listen and learn. Thank you, God. Amen. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.